Jones. Welcome back to another episode of my Youth Squad series with Luton Town. As you can see, I'm just tidying up my budget for the last couple of hours off the transfer window in January. Um, I do not think I'll be getting anyone. I did try to um, sign this guy on loan. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of minutes or hours. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, he, he might have been a key striker for me for the rest of his season. Unfortunately, he isn't. And we end the... Um, transfer market not signing anyone else since last episode in this episode I will be simming quite a lot of the games just so we can get through to next season because I am wanting to play in the Premiership before too long so I can get on and play more FIFA 16 so as you can see I'm just looking at my youth squad and looking at all of the uh, potential players that are in the high 90s and high 80 six and above so we're going to play in Cholton first in the FA Cup uh, as you can see that is my lineup the only issue with simming games is the fact that it's really hard to um, commentate over the top we are losing one uh, after two minutes which was not a great start Korea with a penalty I'd love to remember how many goals he's at at this point I am editing this a few days after uh, recording it so it it's not on the top of my head um, but yeah as you can see it looked like a promising game and unfortunately we just weren't the better team so we lost 2-1 in the FA Cup no more FA Cup um, very early on we play Leeds in the championship now these are the games that are vital because I am trying to get to the Premiership so Again, the vital situation, and we are now drawing. It seems that my wingers are scoring quite a few goals at the moment. My strike force may have quieted down, but the, the three behind him, being either Rufa or the wingers, they've been outstanding for me. So we, we are going to be simming another game, and it's going to be against Wolves. At this point, not the greatest of results but you cannot complain um, we are still in uh, sight of getting promotion and it's January which is the great great situation right now because I, I can honestly see promotion this year I really want promotion this year we are winning 1-0 2-0 Jakob Jakob always promising when you're top or in the top Five. So as you can see, we are winning 2-1, or we won 2-1. Yakubu on the um, score sheet again. He's been outstanding. So we're playing yet another sim game. I promise you guys, I will be playing some gameplay, even if it's one or two games this episode. Um, I'm literally trying to get through as many games as I can. So we're playing Knott's Forest. This is a game that I worried about simming. They have got a very, very strong team. Um, that Kone guy for us, he's been so hit and miss. He scores some outstanding goals, but I I can't see him, if we do get promoted, I can't see him staying. So, who knows? You know, a whole whole season of in, in the future, and I'm, I'm already planning players to leave. We lose against Knott's Forest 1-0, and we're moving on to... Uh, is that Huddles, Huddles, uh, Huddlesfield? Sorry, my mind went completely blank then. Uh, with Smithies in goal, they get an early-ish goal, making it 1-0. Luckily, my CDM with a comeback, it's now 1-1, with the 60th minute just going past. So at this point, a draw is a draw, and I'm happy with a point. A point at this point is better than nothing. And as you can see, last-minute goal by my winger, as I was saying earlier. So I'm going to quickly go through a squad report. Um... I'm not going to read these out, so if you are interested in the squad report, check the screen at this point. Um, between the two goalkeepers, I can see them both staying for next season. They are both outstanding. Um, Besson is probably my only right back that I want to keep this year. Uh, if we do get promoted, he's the only one with the decent talent. Um, 
there's a few players in my centre backs. I've got quite a few centre backs at this point. There's a few of them that I want to keep and a few that I want to sell. So that will be tidied up in the next transfer market. Um, a new left back to challenge tongue would be great. A little bit of a tidying up in midfield would also be, I guess, uh, good. I really want Shenton to improve. I've, I've put him out on loan. I've bought him back. I've played him. He's played on loan. And he just he doesn't seem to be going up as high as I want him to. So it's, it's a little bit upsetting. Ashley Boyce, the only reason he's still in my team is because... I knew someone in my year called Ashley Boyce, which is fantastic because that's now two players in this season or in this career mode I'm playing that I've known being Brad Burke and Ashley Boyce, two kids in my year. Uh, we're moving on to the Millwall game. Um, now, I I wanted to play this game because I knew at this point I've simmed quite a few. I just don't like playing Millwall. There's something against them. And I don't know if it's the fact that they are a physical team. I think I've said this in a previous video as well. I just don't like playing them. Um, luckily, Simonit was a benefit for me as we win 2-0. Um, and we're moving straight on to the Sheffield Wednesday game. Which you can see I am actually playing. So that is the lineup, and this is my kickoff. Luckily, the first game we play in this episode and we get kickoff. And I'm going for a very attackive uh, start unfortunately that went high and wide so as you can see um, this this little gameplay I I hoped more would happen to it um, I don't think my player was running full fast speed and you know it just never it didn't happen <laughs> uh, again we're going into five minutes before the first half ends and it hits a post I believe that's a fantastic goalkeeper. He's been outstanding in this episode. He kept um, Sheffield Wednesday in at this point. Um, couldn't stop Yakubu, who that was a massive glitch. Um, yeah, Yakubu. He. I don't even know how many goals he's on now. It's got to be about five. Which a lonely youth player. That's a fantastic uh, loan. Um, he actually does better moving on in this episode but I won't spoil things too much uh, as you can see I was getting a little bit of rage uh, in this game but doesn't matter full time 1-0 Yakubu with the winning goal 3 points towards promotion we're simming the next game against Middlesbrough um, their team doesn't look like it's changed too much um, so if it's the same team as it was last season, they are fighting for promotion, uh, unfortunately for them, so am I. And as you can see, my team are hungrier than they are. It's 1-0, let's call it 2-0. Korea with that second goal. A fantastic striker, 2-1, and it's going to finish 2-1. So, another three points, another three points towards promotion, and happy days. I reckon at this point we are... Third, I can't remember. I should have kept it in, to be honest. Um, I, I know this episode's going to go on a little bit longer than I want it to. Um, unfortunately, we don't get the winning start in this ep in this match, even. Uh, as you can see, we are drawing. Uh, drawing. We're, <laughs> we're losing 1-0. God. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, I'm aiming for draws and wins in these games. I'm, you know, as long as you get a point... That's one point closer to promotion. That's one point closer to uh, the playoffs. It's one point closer to the Premiership. Unfortunately, I got no points in that game. So we're moving on to Reading. Reading. Uh, I know Reading sacked their boss back in December, I believe. Um, What's his name? Steve Clark, the one that used to manage West Brom. I think he got sacked back in December. Uh, probably just around my birthday to be honest but yeah um, moving on I think he's probably still in charge on the game uh, we're drawing nil nil this is a very exciting game to get a point out of because they are a promotion fighting team um, and a point is what you see there so another point another step closer to the premiership as you can see we are sitting pretty in fifth which is a promising, promising start. 36 games in. It means there's only 12 more matches to the end of this season. And we are currently sitting in a playoff role. 
looking at promotion which is what I've been wanting since day one um, and again like I was saying guys I want in the next episode or two depending on if I'm gonna sim uh, a couple of games next episode I want to be in the Premiership by two episodes time and if I'm not I'm gonna be very disappointed um, this team is fantastic and it's the only reason I'm still playing FIFA 15 at this point is this team is amazing I absolutely love using this team uh, Korea was very very unlucky at that point um, the next attacking play that Luton get was a little bit lucky as you can see we've got a few fouls and a few play ons at this point Yakubu being the guy on fire in this episode I absolutely love using this guy and in the Premiership I'm going to be trying to sign him if we get promoted um, he will definitely be challenging the right mid roll at this point as you can see my strikers haven't scored in this episode so far it is 2-0 and my my cam and my right mid have scored but it's nothing to complain about because three points in this point in this time is fantastic we are winning 2-0 and it just gets even better Yakubu on a ridiculously great fantastic amazing run and uh, yeah 3-0 three, three 58 minutes in this is the Luton Town team which will get promoted there is no chance that we are not getting promoted at this point 3-0 58 minutes in that is a fantastic goal and the whistle will blow any second now to prove it there you go so yeah three points three goals a clean sheet as well that is a fantastic game um, as you can see we simmed against Brentford 4-0 uh, and the last game I think will be against Bolton um, <clears throat> I think I might play one game after Bolton or sim one game after Bolton and then that's, that's it so um, yeah basically the last two games that you'll see in this episode will be against Bolton um, which we are losing by the looks of it Heskey isn't playing for them which is I'm guessing he's retired um, we're playing Watford I quick sim that we win 1-0 and we're playing Brighton this is definitely the last game at this point because um, this episode is going on way longer than I want it to. I normally like my episodes about 8 minutes on these Youth Squad videos. And this is probably cut into 12 minutes. So 4 minutes longer than what I want. As you can see, that was a 1-0 win. And we are sitting in fourth, 2 points away from Hull City. And we are sitting there looking at promotion. I'll catch you next time guys. Bye. Thanks for watching guys, if you're new to the channel please hit that sub button if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and check me out on Twitter.